Hey everybody, I am John Barker and in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to use a custom streaming service with your ATEM Mini Pro. This will work for all sorts of services like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Vimeo, Wowza, Brightcove, all that good stuff and plenty more. Now first up, you're going to want to navigate and find the streaming.xml file. On macOS, you'll find the location right below in this video. Uh, the easiest way to find that is to open a finder window, go to go, go to folder, and then paste that uh, destination in there and hit go and you'll find the streaming.xml file. Alternatively on Windows, you'll find it in the destination on screen here or you can find that in the description below as well. Now when you find the streaming.xml file, you're going to want to open it up in a text editor or preferably in a code editor. I have it open here in VS Code. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to add Vimeo as a streaming platform, uh, but it's pretty much the same for other platforms. I'm going to start by going over to my Vimeo account where I have created a uh, live stream and in this case I have this RTMP URL. I'll just uh, make note of that and keep that nearby for whenever I need it. Back over in the streaming.xml file, the easiest way to get started I find is to just grab one of these services, making sure you get from the opening to the closing service uh, tag. I'll just copy that, go to the bottom, and then I'll just paste the same thing in again. I can change the name to something like uh, Vimeo Live. I'll leave the server name to default, but here I'm going to want to add the URL to Vimeo instead of that URL to Facebook that was in there before. So back over to Vimeo, I can copy that and then paste it here. I can also tweak some things like the streaming settings, but I think I'll just leave that as it is for now. Then I want to save this file in exactly the same name and location as before. When I hit save in this instance, um, it's telling me that I don't have permissions, but that's okay. I can just retry as sudo. Type in my password and the file is now saved and ready to go on to the next step. Finally, I can head back into the ATEM software control and I'll actually just quit it and restart it. And once it's up and running again, I can go to output, live stream, and in the drop down list, I can see Vimeo Live. I'll just head back over to Vimeo, grab my stream key, and just paste it in where it should go. Finally, I can choose a quality. In this case, I'm just going to go for streaming medium. And when I hit on air, I'm streaming to Vimeo Live. Some final thoughts about this setup. It is super important to save that streaming.xml file exactly where you find it in the exact same name. That is what the ATEM software control will look for, so don't give it a different name and do not save it in a different location. Another tip is that even though you can press file and save as in the ATEM software control, and now I've opened up that save to file and I can see all of the settings for my ATEM. If I scroll to the bottom of that file, I will find something to do with streaming. This of course is not the streaming.xml file. In this case, this is some data for the ATEM hardware itself. So don't try and edit this page you want to definitely go into the streaming.xml file that I showed you previously. The next thing to think about is it's probably better to open the file in a code editor as opposed to a text editor. Because you can see here I've got nice highlighting of all the words and I have some auto formatting set up too. So it makes it much harder to make a mistake. If you open it in a text editor, you might get a bit confused and accidentally copy paste the wrong thing and things can get pretty messy fast. So a code editor is much better than a text editor for this. And the final tip for this video is if you want other people like volunteers to use the ATEM and stream, then it's probably better to clear up this platform list. Maybe just leave in the one that you want. You can select all of those, delete them, and just leave that Vimeo Live one in there. Now when I save this and I restart my ATEM software control, in the output and live stream, I can see there's only one option now, which is the platform of Vimeo Live. And that'll make it less likely for a volunteer at a meetup, for example, to accidentally stream to the wrong platform. So I hope you find that useful. You can see more videos on the A10 Mini and the A10 Mini Pro in this playlist. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.